Hello! Here we're going to look at solving system of equations by substitution method, which involves solving one of the original equations for a variable, then using that expression instead of the variable in the other equation, which will leave you with just one variable in that equation, which will allow you to solve the equation then you will substitute the solution into one of the original equations to get the other variable and your solution is always in x y form here we have to solve 4x plus 3y equals to 9 and x equals to 3y plus 6 let's call this 4x plus 3y equals to 9 row 1 and x equals to 3y plus 6, row 2. If you notice in row 2, x is all by itself and it's equal to 3y plus 6. We already have it solved for x, so I'm going to use this expression 3y plus 6 and I'm going to substitute it instead of the x into the row 1 equation. So row 1 had 4x plus 3y and it was equal to 9 x was equal to 3y plus 6 in row 2 now this substitution creates a new equation with just one variable that you can solve for we have a parenthesis we cannot simplify inside let's distribute this 4 4 times 3 we have a 12y 4 times 6 we have plus 24 and we have plus 3y from before equals to 9 we have like term of y we have 12 here plus 3 over here plus 24 equals to 9 12 plus 3 we have a 15 y plus 24 equals to 9 now that left side is simplified we can solve for y we are multiplying y by 15 and adding 24 in order to solve we do it in reverse so minus 24 to both sides this adds up to 0 we have 15y equals to we have more negatives so minus difference between 24 and 9 is 15 y is being multiplied by 15 in order to solve for y we need to do the opposite and we have to divide by 15 whatever we do to one side of the equal sign we have to do the same thing to the other side we get y equals to negative 15 divided by 15 negative 1 so this is part of our solution a solution to the system of equation will have to be a point. We need x and y value. So right now we know that y value is negative 1. Once you have one of the variables solved for, you use that in one of the original equations to solve for the other variable. I am going to use row 2 since it has x equal to 3y plus 6. And instead of y, I'm going to substitute negative 1. So we have x equals to 3 times y plus 6. And we found that y is equal to negative 1. So we have x equals to positive 3 times negative 1, negative 3 plus 6. Different signs, we look for difference. And the difference between 3 and 6 would be 3. So x is equal to 3. So our solution is 3, negative 1. You can always check by substituting the point back into the original equations. Let's check row 1. We had 4x plus 3y equals to 9. x was equal to 3. y was equal to negative 1. So we have 4 times 3. We have a 12. Positive 3 times negative 1, negative 3, equals to 9. Difference between 12 and 3 is 9. 9 is equal to 9. We have a true statement. 
let's check row 2, which was x equals to 3y plus 6. So we have x, which is 3, equals to 3 times y, which is negative 1, plus 6. So we have 3 equals to positive 3 times negative 1, negative 3, plus 6. 3 is equal to 3. We have a true statement again. So 3 negative 1 is a perfectly fine solution. Here we have to solve x equals to 4 minus 4y and negative x plus 2y equals to 2. So we have row 1 and row 2. Notice that in row 1 you just have x all by itself and it's equal to this expression which I'm going to take and plug in into the second row instead of x. So in the second row we had negative x plus 2y equals to 2 and instead of x I'm going to use what x is equal to in row 1 which was 4 minus 4 y. Now we just need to simplify left side and solve for y. Now be very careful, there is a negative in front of this parenthesis, so we are distributing negative 1 inside. So let's distribute this negative 1. We have negative 1 times 4, we get negative 4. Negative 1 times negative 4y, we get a positive 4y plus 2y equals to 2. We have like terms of y. We have 4y's over here plus 2y's over here. This negative 4 is just a constant, so minus 4 equals to 2. 4 plus 2, we get a 6y minus 4 equals to 2. Now that we have left side simplified, we can solve for y. We are multiplying y by 6 and subtracting 4. In order to solve, we do it in reverse order. So the opposite of minus sign 4 would be to add 4. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to the other side of the equation. This will create negative 4 plus 4. They will add up to 0. Now we get 6y equals to 2 plus 4, 6 y is being multiplied by 6, the opposite would be to divide by 6. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do the same thing to the other side of the equation. So let's divide by 6. And we get y is being equal to 6 divided by 6, 1. So this is a part of our solution. Point is always x and y value, and we know that y is equal to 1. We just need to find x. In order to do so, I'm going to go back to our original equations for... If I look at row 1 and 2, in row 1 we already have x as being equal to 4 minus 4y. And when you perform substitutions, this will make it so much easier to calculate x. So x is equal to 4 minus 4 y and we calculated y being equal to 1 so x is equal to 4 minus 4 times 1 which is 4 and we get x is equal to 4 minus 4 0 and this point is 0 1 so this is our solution it is always a good idea to check let's check our values in first row x is equal to 4 4 minus 4y, so x was equal to 0, equals to 4, minus 4 times y, which was 1, and we get 0 equals to 4 minus 4, 0, that's a true statement. Let's check row 2. We had negative x plus 2y equals to 2, so we have negative x is 0 plus 2 times y is 1 equals to 2. So negative 0 is nothing. And we get 2 times 1, which is 2, equals to 2. That's a true statement. 
so our solution was correct. Here we have to solve 5x plus 2y equals to 5 and 3x plus y equals to 4. We have row 1 and row 2. None of these equations has a variable already solved for, so our first step would be to solve for a variable. Now you have to exercise your judgment and pick the best variable to solve for since it's very easy to end up with fractions. If you choose to solve for x variables, you will either end up dividing everything by 5 because the first row x is multiplied by 5 or dividing everything by 3 to solve for x in the second row. The best variable to solve for here would be in row 2 y variable because your coefficient is 1. In order to solve for this y you just have to bring x's to the other side of the equation. So let's do just that. We take row 2 which was 3x plus y equals to 4 and let's solve for y. This is a positive 3x. The opposite of adding 3x would be to subtract 3x. Whatever you do to one side of the equal sign, you want to do the same thing to the other side of the equal sign. So minus 3x to both sides. And we get that y is equal to 4 minus 3x. Since we calculated this y from row 2, you have to plug it into the other original equation because otherwise you will just end up with the true statement of 4 equals to 4. And the other equation was row 1 which was 5x plus 2y equals to 5 and we are going to be substituting for y this value so 5x plus 2 placeholder for y equals to 5 and we have that y is equal to 4 minus 3x in row 2. Let's simplify left side and solve the equation. We have a parenthesis we need to distribute this to so we get 5x plus 2 times 4 8 positive 2 times negative 3 minus 6x equals to 5 we have like terms of x, we have 5 here, negative 6 here, plus 8 equals to 5. 5 minus 6, we have more negatives, so difference will be negative. 1x plus 8 equals to 5. Now we can solve for x. x has been multiplied by negative 1 and we are adding 8. We gotta do the opposite in reverse order, so minus 8 to both sides and we get negative x, 8 minus 8 is equal to 0, equals to 5 minus 8, we get negative 3. We need to have a positive variable to have a solution, so let's divide by negative 1. Whatever we do to one side, we wanna do the same thing to both sides, so we get negative x divided by negative 1 positive x equals to negative 3 divided by negative 1, positive 3. So we have part of our point 3. We need to find y value and the best equation to plug in for y would be in row 2. Since y has coefficient of 1, we have 3x plus y equals to 4. And we had x as being equal to 3. So let's solve for y. We have 3 times 3, 9 plus y equals to 4. This is a positive 9. The opposite would be to minus 9. Let's do the same thing to both sides. And we get y is equal to 4 minus 9, negative 5. And this is the second value of our point, negative 5. So let's check. In row 1, we had... 5x plus 2y equals to 5. We got x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 5. So we have 5 times 3, 15. 
positive times negative minus 2 times 5 10 equals to 5 15 minus 10 is 5 equals to 5 we have a true statement for row 1 let's check row 2 which was 3 x plus y equals to 4 we had x is equal to 3 y was equal to negative 5 3 times 3 is 9 positive times negative minus 5 equals to 4 9 minus 5 is 4 so 4 is equal to 4 we have a true statement again so 3 negative 5 is our solution that's all thank you for watching